Okay, so here's something else I wanted to show you guys. That's the difference between a fruiting bud and a vegetative bud, and also show you fruiting spurs. Um, when you're looking at pruning your fruit trees, you know, you, you don't necessarily want to prune off a lot of um, the fruiting wood. And so what you need to try to figure out is the difference between a fruiting bud and a vegetative bud and or a fruiting spur. Now, a lot of your apple trees especially do fruiting spurs. Uh, very few of them are, uh, have fruiting tips. But what you're looking at here, like on this piece here, this is, this is last year's growth, okay, uh, after being pruned. So this is all one year's growth. And uh, you can see it's got little buds all the way up the stem. Well, these little buds here, and uh, let me see if I can get one in the light. Okay, so you see these down here, they lay real close to the stem. They lay real flat, and they're kind of nondiscreet, really. Nothing special about them. Um, these are going to be your vegetative buds and or your wood buds, okay? So don't worry about those. What you see out here at the tip, these real fuzzy, white, almost snowy looking buds, this is going to be a fruiting bud, or at least a flowering bud. So when you're looking at pruning your trees, um, you know, you don't necessarily want to prune these off if you can help it. Now, if you're pruning a young tree and you're heading it back, you're pruning it to shape it, okay? Don't worry about whether or not you're cutting off fruiting buds because really young fruit trees don't need to fruit anyway. You need to really let them get established, let them get built up right before you worry too much about getting a fruit load off of them. So don't feel bad on young trees for knocking this stuff off. Something like this one here, you know, I need to take out a little bit extra, but I, I wanted to show you that difference. So all of these coming up along the stem, these are all wood buds or leaf buds up until you get to this very tip one. And it looks real swollen and fat and it looks almost kind of ashy or kind of fuzzy. That's going to be a flowering or a fruiting bud. Um, now when you look at fruiting stems, look along this main, this older limb here. And uh, this tree shows it pretty good because this is an older established limb. And all along it is these little kind of peg limbs that stick off. They're just a couple inches long. Each one of these little odd pegs that's sticking off is going to be a fruiting, uh, fruiting stem. I feel like that's not the right word for it. But um, when you're looking to prune, you know, you don't, on an apple tree like this one, this branch should not be slick. This branch should have all sorts of these little crooked looking stubs sticking off of it because every single one of those is going to be a fruiting area. So again, seeing these big, long, open, spindly limbs, those are okay, but these are what you're going to want to prune uh, to shape your tree. These are going to be, eventually, they're going to end up being your main limbs. So you really want to prune these well, use it to shape your tree well, and you want to be able to rely on having all of these little crooked stubbies in the future years that are all going to put on your fruit load. So hopefully that helps some of you guys out there understand. It's still something I'm trying to wrap my head around, but again, on, on most apple trees, seeing these little short spurs, fruiting spur, that's it, not a fruiting stem, fruiting spur. Seeing these little short spurs, that's good. That's going to be a fruiting spur. Seeing these big, long, gangly limbs like this, that just means you've got good new growth, and it's up to you to decide, do you want to hack that off, or do you want to leave that? Like for this particular limb, there's kind of a hollow space in the tree here, so I'm going to leave this one. But you see right down at the base of it, it's rubbing and it's competing with this bunch of fruiting spurs. Now since I've got lots of good fruiting spurs down the rest of the limb, I'm going to go ahead and take this fruiting spur out because I don't want it rubbing and causing irritation and possible sore with this limb. I want this limb to stay and grow stronger to be a, you know, a bearing limb. I don't need this fruiting spur because I've got plenty of other fruiting spurs along it. So again, just kind of a quick rundown on trying to identify uh, you know, vegetative and wood buds versus fruit buds and also kind of how to be selective on which ones you want to cut off and which ones you want to leave.